This is my team. You guys hey, build there. America, Hi. not Wall Street. You just build America. That's right. The Americans just want to live meekly, comfortable. I've got a wife that works as well. We've got a 17 and a seven year old at home, and, and, and we're still working, you know, thanks to our international executive board for getting with General Motors and making sure that it's safe for us to return back to work after eight weeks of being laid off. I mean, it, it's, it's a hoax at one point, and now here we are, full blown. Yep. Well, I tell you what, the future of auto workers in America, and I really believe this, can be as bright as it was back in the, in, in, in the late 40s and 50s. Yes. Simple reason. It's an iconic industry. It's an American industry. We made it. We made it. Yes. Thank you. It's been a very interesting 2020. I've been in the fire service 16 years and never experienced anything like COVID. Uh, we had to change our whole tactics the way we did our day-to-day. -day. And now, at a hurricane that just came in two weeks ago, and we were right almost right on the eye. And, I mean, we were doing things we never thought we'd be doing. Uh, water rescues in, with masks on, having to worry about COVID. It, it, was, it was interesting. How is your family doing? Well, I'm a single dad. I have a almost five-year-old who's in my world. And I'm very lucky that my parents are retired. My mom actually retired right after my daughter was born to help us with her. And she was so looking forward to pre-K, going to the big school, like she says. And then unfortunately, all this COVID came in and now it's all gonna be online schooling, which I'm fortunate, I have my parents, but I do have a lot of guys that are double income families and they're just trying to figure out how they're gonna do it with their kids. What, how, what arrangements are they gonna have to make since they're not gonna be going to school, it's gonna be online. It's two people in my household. Um, I have a family of two and we have grown up kids that are no longer in the household. But it takes two people to build. Uh, we have an ongoing goal of a, a five-year goal of buying a house in the next five years. So um, hopefully we'll save, save, save. Look, everybody, you talked about the middle class. The fact is that the way middle class people generate wealth overwhelmingly is building up equity in their home. And that's what gets passed on from one generation to the next, the equity in a home. You know, the middle class is continuous taking hits. And one of the reasons why we're on this call is we realize how important it is to have you in the White House. We, uh, we need a comprehensive energy policy for renewable resources, which I know you have one. And if we're going to build the middle class, it's about the jobs. The future really rests on Investment. We're going to be investing $2 trillion in infrastructure, ports, bridges, highways, making sure that we have access to do things that really make a difference, like what you're doing that solar facility outside of Harrisburg. You know, I'm a Scranton boy. You know, central Pennsylvania is okay, but, you know, northeast. <laughs> <laughs> so keep the faith, guys. Right. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. We appreciate you.